Okay, so just one more example here of uh, finding a derivative using implicit differentiation. So here we're going to find the derivative. Uh, we're going to find dy dt of y cubed plus sine of y times t equals t to the fifth. So again, the idea in this video is we're taking the derivative with respect to t. So again, we're going to kind of treat the t kind of like the x that we, you know, the way we did it in the first video. So just think about t and x as being your, uh, you know, the independent variable in this case. So all we have to do in this case again, so uh, when we take the derivative of y to the third, well, we'll get 3y squared, but then we have to tack on our dy over dt. Plus, okay, we have to use the, uh, the chain rule when we take the derivative of sine of yt. So the derivative of sine is just cosine. We'll leave the inside alone. But then when we take the derivative of the inside, we'll have to use the product rule. So let's see. When we take the derivative of 1y, we'll just get 1, but we have to tack, out, tack on the dy dt term. Um, and then we'll leave the t alone. And then plus, okay, so now uh, we'll leave the y alone. When we take the derivative of 1t, we'll just get 1. And then on the right side, when we take the derivative of t to the fifth, we'll get 5t to the fourth. So now what we need to do is just solve for our dy dt term. So um, all I'm going to do is just get rid of the brackets here. And I'm going to have to distribute this cosine of yt to, you know, both both terms. So let's see, we'll get plus. So I'm going to write this as t times cosine of yt times dy over dt. And then when we distribute again, we'll get plus, I guess we'll just get y times cosine of yt. On the right, we still have our 5t to the fourth just hanging out. And now I'm going to move everything that doesn't have a dy dt attached to it. I'm going to move that stuff over to the other side. So let's see here. There's our 5t to the fourth. Um, I could subtract the y cosine of yt from both sides. So we've basically moved that over to the other side. Notice on the left, all we would be left with would be the 3y squared dy dt plus t times cosine of yt times dy dt. And what I'm going to do now is just factor that dy over dt out. Well, let's see. If we pull the dy dt out, we would need a 3y squared. And then if we pull it out from the um, second term, we would need the positive t times cosine of yt. And now all we have to do is just divide both sides by the 3y squared plus t cosine yt and we'll get our solution. So it says dy dt is going to be 5t to the fourth minus y times cosine of yt all over 3y squared plus t times cosine of yt and we've now got our derivative.